Six months old Peter Elumu is in Tiriri Health Center 4 for the fourth time since he was born to get immunized. His 20-year-old mother Jane Ariapo at all visits walks for about one hour from Morieta village to Atiriri village to this health center to see to his well-being. I was teach when I was pregnant, then when I was coming here, I was teach all about that. Just if you produce a baby, you just keep on bringing it for immunization until she finish the dose. Her baby and about 14 others will today be the recipients of vaccines against preventable diseases, including polio, TB, measles, diphtheria, pertussis or whooping cough, tetanus, hepatitis B, hemophilus influenza, and pneumonia. All have vaccines that Uganda's Ministry of Health has made available in health facilities. Sorry. The little painful prick will see to it that these babies do not get any preventable disease. In a week, over 100 babies are vaccinated at Tiriri Health Center 4. However, a year back, the number was less. According to George Swaiti, a specialist in handling vaccines, it was because of inadequate staff. Only one staff was working here. And here we have got a number of activities. And in the event of that one person not being there, then the whole section wouldn't work. This led to some mothers losing interest in the process. That problem demoralized mothers coming back and they tell you the vaccinator is not there, there is no mean vaccine, they go back. Swaiti's hiring somehow has helped the health center see to more children get vaccinated. For Swaiti, the biggest challenge which is faced by Soroti district as a whole is the outreach system of vaccination. We need health workers to be able to go in the outreaches. We get a village, then we go down there to meet those mothers who have not managed to come. Honestly talking, we have not made even one this year because we don't have transport. The unit doesn't have even a bicycle. Most uh, bicycles, motorcycles are broken down. Yeah, but otherwise the service is, is running. Running because some health workers make sacrifices. Sometimes even picking these vaccines from the district headquarters is a problem because I have to use my money first. Then they refund me. So when I don't have the money, sometimes the mothers also have to send them back. The farthest unit from around Terry Health Centre 4 is around 20 kilometers, a distance hard for many mothers to trek, considering the fact that to come to Terry is also an effort. Swaiti's main worry is the fact that some children receive their vaccines late or not at all. Like there is a dose we give to a newly born baby, that one called the polio one. That one mostly, if a baby goes beyond two weeks from the time of birth, we don't give it, so it's very dangerous. This he is solving with his in charge who stays in town. When I don't make it, I call him that doctor. I can't manage to move there, but this is what I'm lacking. In as much as he's involved in administering the vaccines, his main concern is keeping them safe, and only he touches this fridge and gives handling lessons to others. For example, we have got this DPT, help B. It is meant to be kept between positive 2 and positive 8 degrees. If they go below that, then the vaccine will not work. He also has to tally the numbers of children for accountability to see to it that they match the vaccines used. The midwives also help out. At least to improve the maternal and child health progress. And they seem to be doing well according to the district health officer. We work almost to our targets. 80%, if we score 73%, I think that's not bad. But when we have what we call a supplemental or mass campaigns is when sometimes, if we don't mobilize well, people may have questions here and there, but 
even that we usually clear out with the proper information. The World Health Organization guidelines consider a fully vaccinated child to have received BCG, three doses each of the diphtheria, pertussis and tetanus and polio vaccines, as well as measles vaccination by the age of 12 months. In Uganda, the vaccination policy calls for BCG or TB vaccine to be given at birth or at first clinical contact. Three doses of DPT, Hep B, HIB vaccine given at approximately age 4, 8 and 12 weeks. Four doses of oral polio vaccine given approximately at 0 to 2 weeks, 4 weeks, 8 weeks and 12 weeks and measles vaccine given at or soon after reaching age 9 months. Overall, only 4 in 10 children are fully vaccinated by 12 months. 6 in 10 are not. Factors that have to be worked on include education, creating a balance between urban and rural areas, empowering people economically, and advocating for small families. Because the more children one has, the less likely they will all get immunized. According to the World Health Organization, immunization against vaccine-preventable diseases is essential to reaching Millennium Development Goal number 4 of reducing under-5 mortality by two-thirds by 2015. Immunization prevents between 2 to 3 million deaths every year globally. Florence